Hey folks, Buzzer, welcome back to another Paul Massive video. So today let's talk a bit about the triple legendary gauntlet, like Poke Fair rerun banner, right? That's uh, probably dropping, well not probably, it is dropping <laughs> tonight at, at reset, right? So this is the pretty standard, you know, every time a legendary gauntlet comes around, they drop on these banners, stack three, you know, Poke Fairs that generally do, you know, good against the gauntlet and, and helps, right? And they, you know, uh, put them in there, right? And this, 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 this. The units definitely help. These units definitely help the legendary gauntlet stages, right? Because this time the gauntlet is actually really, really hard. Probably the second hardest gauntlet we've gotten so far after the one with Moltres, right? This one's with Regirock, Latios, and Yuxi, right? All three of them are pretty tough, right? There's no, there's no cakewalks in here. So, and and these three units definitely all all help to you know different extents, right? Uh, against these uh, opponents, so. It's definitely nice. Uh, de definitely, definitely, really, really um, nice and, and helpful if you need them, right? So, uh, okay, let's uh, let's talk about the the banner. So, um, first of all, before we get into the units, just a quick note about like the banner. Uh, it should be one of those like triple one percent each banners, right? So like you know total of three three percent, right? Which is a uh, pretty good in terms of rates. Yeah, yeah. Like like the previous one was like you know one percent each, which again you know. It's 3% chance to get at least one Poke Fair, which is pretty good, I'd say, right? But anyways, let's, let's talk about the units, because if the units aren't that great, then it's probably, you know, not, 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 not worth the, the, the rates, right? So the units we have over here is um, Gardevoir, Diantha Gardevoir, um, uh, Diantha Gardevoir, Alt Iris now, Alt Iris, Hydreigon, and Gloria and Zacian. So it's three these three units. Uh, one for each stage, right? Gloria for 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 Regirock, Diantha for Latios, and um, actually no, I think which one's for which? Actually, I, I'm not, I actually I'm not 100 sure. I I I I I, I, I suppose Iris is for Yuxi, although Iris doesn't really do any Yuxi stuff. Maybe, maybe maybe they just did like two for Latios, like Diantha's for Latios, and like. Uh, alt iris level for Latios, I guess. Although, ah, whatever. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> so, all right, let's just quickly talk about the units. I mean, it's three units. Uh, they're all all old units, right? So I'm not going to go over too much over here. Just highlight some upsides, downsides of each unit real quick. So just some quick, uh, you know, upsides, downsides over here. Uh, Pros-wise, def definitely, you know, a pretty good fairy DPS. Not the best, but I mean, still good enough, I mean, right? And then you also have the special attack debuffs. There's a few ways you can get them, whether it's through, um, you know, maybe on a roll over here at 2 out of 5, right? Yeah, two, uh, 2 out of 5 on a roll with uh, Moonblast, which gives you, you know, 6% chance at least. Or if you have Satisfied Snicker 9 there as well to, to help, because that's like, you know, that's an extra one, so you could potentially get like 2 minus 2 at, um, I think, 4 out of 5, right? Yeah, 4 out of 5 over there. So there is that. Um, as for some, you know, um, other stuff, she has a decent striker fairy nuke. Like the numbers are good, but uh, you do need the special attack debuff. So kind of depends. Uh, she could do it herself, especially at four out of five to make it at least more efficient. She could do it at, you know, two out of five with the honor roll. It's just much much slower, right? But yeah. Um, Setup's not the best, but it's, it's like, the numbers are, are fine. And then you got a lot of sync move countdown stuff. There's, like, Propulsion, a 1 in the passive. There's Train to Move, Propulsion 9 at 5 out of 5. There's um, Head Start, which could trigger again since uh, after you Mega come in with that, right? So that's definitely nice um, in terms of her upsides. You know, for, for some downsides, uh, the, the biggest, um, well, maybe... I mean, number one and number two are, are both pretty uh, big, but one of her bigger downsides is the gauge issue. She's not very fast at 268 speed. Uh, her mega doesn't, you know, give extra speed, so she's pretty slow uh, to start. And also, she has hit the gas five, which makes it she like her moves cost one more extra gauge. It does more damage, so I mean, you know, it's a, I'd say a fair trade off. But uh, yeah, yeah. So four gauge move, pretty slow. Gauges wise, she only really has like fleet feet on the trainer move which could help the the speed a bit there's like two move gauge refresh twos on moon blast which isn't great but there's something there but if you do get her to uh i think uh four out of five right you do have recharging strikes nine here which at least guarantees give you some gauges back right 
um, depending on, on, on the scenario uh, over here. So so there's there's that. There's also speedy entry um, at 2 out of 5. So she definitely does have some gauge help, right? Definitely does have have, have some gauge help over here with, um, with, with, with the newly expanded grid stuff, but also, you know, at least fleet feet, I guess. Uh, but yeah, she's, she's still going to be a bit heavy on the gauges, unfortunately. And uh, the other thing is uh, there are kind of better options because, again, um, the new New Year's Lycia, right, and, and shiny Galarian Rapidash is overall just better. Better DPS, better nuke, better setup for the nuke and all that stuff as well. Um, and, and oh, also, I guess if you want to, like, add one more con is just, like, her, like, not fully self-sufficient, which isn't, like, a huge deal because, again, most units in the game are, so there's that. But, yeah, it's just that Galarian, Shining Galarian Rapidash is just better, but, like, I only say kind of because, like, you know, one's physical, one's special. You could maybe, if there's ever a use for the physical special split, right, that, that you know, she could still come in handy there, and... Yeah, even though, again, Lys is better doesn't mean she's bad. Like, she's still fine. <laughs> she's still fine, right? Plus, oh, another uh, pro I, I forgot to mention is she, she works very, very, very well with this thing's at Wally, right? Her uh, her and, um yeah, the, the two Gardevoirs work very, 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 very well together with the, you know, special move, um, uh, all that stuff, obviously. Um, also having, having you know, the, the, the debuffs, right? Fulfilling Wally's uh, B-move um, circumstance unlock unlock um requirements all that stuff so a lot of a lot of upsides i'd say i like the downsides are they're real but they're also not like the worst right it's not it's not like all these the downsides make her just a bad unit overall no downsides are just annoyances i guess right um so yeah moving on to uh, glorization in terms of some uh pros she does have both a fairy and, and a steel type damage dealing option, right? So there's there's, there's that. Uh, she's very fast, right? 427 speed. She has like move gauge boost. She has move gauge refresh as like a passive four over here as well. And yeah, she, she, she's fast. I don't know. <laughs> and also, our, uh, she does have a lot of sync move countdown stuff as well. Um, there's one on her on, on the train to move. There's one head start on the um, grid. There's adrenaline as well, right? You know, you can pair that up with one more sync move countdown. That's like one turn shredded off, which is pretty nice. And the other thing is, you only need one out of five. Although that also could be a con because it also means her like grid is really bad and like not really useful. But <laughs> on the flip side, you know, it's, just, it's nice at, at that at least. As, as for some downsides, uh, her DPS and nuke are kind of mediocre before the opponent's saying because they do have a, you know, a multiplier based on if the target has a sync buff or not, right? So that slightly sucks. So obviously in mash mode, if you're going like full offensive, that's very, very dangerous to let the opponent sync you and, and obliterate you. And uh, syncs aren't as bad in legendary uh, arena slash gauntlet, but... On the other hand, in Legendary Arena Gauntlet, like every time you clear a HP bar, they like reset the opponent's sync move, like sync buffs as well. Which, in most case scenarios, and you know, <laughs> almost every other unit uh, in the game, in that case, is very very good for her. It's a uh, maybe maybe not that good because you know you're losing 50 percent of DPS uh, and then I think 100 uh, percent off 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 your nuke, which uh, kind of sucks. Uh, after that, there is self-sufficiency, right? She does have a decent amount of attack buffs. There's, like, plus two here. There's two on entry, and then you could get critical ferocity if you want the last two, I guess? Uh, but she has no, no crit buffs. She only has that, like, there's, like, two, like, guaranteed crit stuff, which is, uh, not, not very good. Not very good. And, and, uh, of, like, for damage dealer, of, of all the things to miss, uh, missing crit is, is kind of kind of cringe especially again in in this gauntlet scenario right like crit buffers are kind of at a, at a premium generally uh l l last one again you could also on the flip side interpret this as a good thing so you don't have to pull for more copies but uh, the grid sucks there's like nothing really on the grid to pick up like there's only like head start and like adrenaline maybe if you want to shred a 
turn off of, of her saying move cannon, which is good, but like, like entire grid, three out of five just for that <laughs> seems a bit, uh, you know, whatever, right? Uh, as for some other stuff, uh, I don't know. Pl play rough on a roll too isn't even that good, honestly. It's like, what, 30% chance for the debuff is like pretty bad. Um, there's two Bohemian Blade move, move gauge fresh too, and like that's like the like third, maybe second best node on, on her like kit, and then like every, everything else just like Bohemian Blade power ups and like Sync power ups. There's like a speed plus 20 over here, which is cool, but she's already like super fast, so yeah, it's just a bad grid. Moving on to the uh, Alt Iris and, and Hydreigon. This is the first time she came back since they changed her name into Alt Iris or Iris Alt, whatever. Uh, anyways, so yeah, this unit in terms of pros and cons. As for as for pros for, 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 for Iris over here, so first of all, she does have good debuffs with the double drop on um, double drop on, on, on either, you know, Snarl or Breaking Swipes, right? That's minus two of one or the other, right? Uh, every single turn, which is uh, definitely nice. You have move gauge acceleration on her trainer move, which is always always nice to have. Um, also, think move countdown. Forgot about that, but yeah, it's it's also in there. She has a good nuke, right? Her nuke uh, at three out of five, obviously, very 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 uh, powerful. And then you have the uh, the the flinch thing, which is uh, which is cool, which is cool uh, on the dragon rush. Although there's also a bit of a downside, I guess, of that. Uh, also, I think doesn't she have um. Uh, Pierce and Gaze, yeah, as well. So yeah, the uh, relatively bad accuracy of Dragon Rush won't uh, won't matter in this specific case, right? So those are some of the pros. As, as for some uh, cons, uh, number one, you have to have three out of five. Like this, this is a unit where like you straight up like have to have three out of five. Three out of five uh, Alt Iris versus one out of five Alt Iris are two completely different units, right? Three out of five Alt Alt Iris, you have this like really really nice nuke with devastation and pecking order, right? Incredibly you know powerful nuke over here. And without three out of five, if you don't have this, she's like, she's like gets us basically, but like w w worse. <laughs> she's like worse gets us, which is saying a lot because gets is not like great. I guess she has like, she has like move gauge acceleration still, which gets us uh, doesn't have. But like outside of that, like, she's gets us, but like yeah, she could AOE, but like gets us does like both debuffs at the same time. So yeah, she's a. Uh, you need 3 out of 5. You need 3 out of 5, or it's a completely, completely different unit. Uh, also, DPS is kind of awkward. Like, she theoretically could have a pretty decent DPS, right, with her um, Dragon Rush. I mean, you know, pretty good base you know, power move here. For a 3 gauge move, at least, right? And then you have a few multipliers here and there for it, whether it's, uh, you know, power loving or... or or, uh, never mind, I think power loving is the only one. <laughs> but, yeah, um, in, in Dragon Zone, at least, right, it... You know, could you could theoretically have decent DPS and it could also flinch with that, but you just since you have number three very very long setup, you almost like never really get to use it. Most of the battle you're just spamming breaking swipes or snarl just to get the multipliers for for yourself, right? Um, unless you're not using it for that, but and you have like someone else to debuff for her, which doesn't make too much sense because she's a really nice debuff for herself. <laughs> so yeah, uh, due to her very 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 long setup, makes it so that. She has a potentially good DPS, but it's kind of wasted because you almost never really get to use it. Um, and then last one is self buff. She has like no self buffs. It's like yeah, plus uh, one crit and plus two physical attack on like one MP in the training move. And there's like yeah, that's 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 it, man. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. You need uh, you need you need you need someone to max out crit and obviously someone to max out physical attack and that's you know plus four and plus two right which is which is a pretty big commitment over there so yeah really really nice unit but definitely uh you know, quite a few um, downsides there too so I, I i guess overall right like all three units are all right all right i i guess the one that maybe maybe isn't as good as the other two is probably like gloria right uh, i i definitely do feel like diantha and um Alt Iris are, 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 are a bit better than, than Gloria, but I mean, Gloria's still not that bad. And the other thing with uh, Alt Iris and, and Gloria is they haven't had their, like, further good expansions yet. If you're into that, obviously, if you're one of those, um, you know, I will never, ever 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5 any of my units, which, you know, fair. Um, or poke fairs, at least, because you'll probably unintentionally <laughs> 4 out of 5, 5 5 a lot of your other units. <laughs> or, like, 3 ones or whatever, right? But, um... 
Yeah, so they could still, they, there's still uh, room for improvement over there for, for, for these two at least. And um, they're all, you know, overall solid units, right? They're, they'll, they'll definitely all, you know, be able to help you in this uh, gauntlet challenge over here. Um, and again, it's, you know, three one percent rate banners or, or, or Pokefair, you know, uh, featured. So you have three percent chance to get at least one of them. So uh, I'd say probably like a 5.6 out of 10. It's just that the new Singsu Diantha is incredibly good. And it's like very uh, would be very unfortunate to like miss, miss out on that, you know, and some other units still around um, are, 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 are nice too. Uh, like these units are fine but yeah I, I wouldn't really say it's something worth pulling over again the sing soup diantha even though with the solid rates here so anyways that's for this one i hope you all enjoyed guys think in the comments down below like and enjoy the video for my channel for some more poem as contents i'll see you guys in the next one then